Hi, old beaver! Away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Critscast. We've got some other Highlander action for you today. Here we go, we're going to be going into this, uh, into this point of the game, so just to reiterate, this is the Season 22 Lower Bracket Finals between Athenium, Lower Bracket Qualifying match, sorry, between Athenium and uh, Fela Esports to take it away on this uh, first product mid. Yeah, let's see how they start off. Kalos fast to mid, takes a burn in the face for now, no big deal just yet, can just fall back for the heels, this is where the plays have to start now for either side though. Both teams just spamming out right now, looking for any opportunity. Paros with the demo man right now, just trying to help him out, get some damage over TK, trying to go deep, barely living that. I don't know if much longer, Dekka doesn't quite have the line to, to clean up the sword on the flank there. Still, Unforgiven and Sintaya being the first kills, that's hurt quite a lot for Athenium here, getting picked up, losing the medic for Athenium, really tough right now, trying to sack through Uber's ready crits actually on Layla's end here, they cannot pop the save themselves, they can just try to lift this somehow, and for now they are. I think they're doing the right play here though, they're trying to live on this hill, I mean Sprat's going for a bit of a play here, goes for Wiz, that misses the stab, he's going to be living for now, but TK was very lucky there at the start of that mid, just to get out on like two health, so I think the players being alive there helped them out a lot, since I was going down with that early pick as well, and there we go, first uh, cap is going to be going to the side of Failer. Alright, you assume in experienced players like this that the fact of the crit is a known factor here for Athenium, just bike and check it, you can see it if you have a keen eye at least, for everyone else as well, so this shouldn't be a surprise anymore to them that there's a crit on the field. The question is how they want to deal with this. They don't have it yet, you can still try it, like Zachary goes over with early, but as long as Failer doesn't find an opportunity to use on you, you can just also wait and sit back and get your own Uber. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised that, I mean, Unforgiven's probably called the wrong cliff here, so I'm surprised Joe isn't taking the initiative to just crit in early here, but I think he's just waiting for him to come forwards a bit. Hasn't seen the mid, he's gonna feel like he wants to crit into the heavy in the demo, uh, kind of missing a few shots here, but I mean, the medic's sort of out. Maybe a bit of stuff, but it's, never mind, Sinto goes down anyway. I didn't even see what. Got yeah, Unforgiven just waited behind everybody as the crits came forward. He played as well. They were just sandwiched between the crits and the spy waiting in the perfect moment. Really well played by Fader. They're picking up most of what they need. However, losing a lot in the meantime as well. Decker with the bomb on the medic, Dispenser and Pyro making short notice of that, but they still lost quite a few, and you have the worst spots on the point here right now, so despite this working decently well, they might still have to be a little bit careful here, because if they're not, Thrash will just flame a victim. Yeah, nice pick by Thrash there to get Layla, so they're gonna no heals for Fela right now, as Jack is trying to take some damage. Fong's is gonna be Wing into the demo here, Kayla's taking a lot of damage. Joe with a nice pipe there, actually hits that as well. Mini's still up for Schmidt, just sort of firing away in this uh, main area, and the flank's being contested, but there's so many people going down for Athenium here that I don't know, they're probably going to have to back off here. Yeah, Fela didn't really want to give this one up. Maybe should have, but it worked out for them in the end, getting enough kills. He just immediately have a replay position on point here. Losing John early hurts quite a bit for that to happen though, so maybe it's not quite as easy still. They're doing their most here to get some point time, get the pressure oh. appointed. Wizard with the side like for Brock, since I have no chance. Still trying to block this, but this won't last much longer here for Athenium. Yeah, this is the no fear wizard. He's just standing on top of the rock, doesn't even care. Doesn't worry about the spam. Goes for the shots, gets the pyro there as well. I uh, don't think Redlix is able to contest that really as he goes down to forgiving, I think, in the bat lines. But yeah, here we go. Gets the heavy as well. See, this is what I mean. When you get this sniper pressure and the control and the, the team starts fearing your sniper, it's just like this is where it starts to go a bit downhill. But then it goes in here, maybe with a bit of a sap, but there isn't really anything to find. Not oh, sure about that sap. Oh. Got a second stab after the first one failed to finally get the medic there. That hurts so much. Already down so many. They trade a lot though. In the end, they still also get later. Still haven't really got much on point though. So as long as it just keeps on trading, it's maybe not bad for feeding, but it doesn't really help them just get on with some cleanup. Their latest one maybe overextends a little bit too much. Stuck between a pyro and the scout. Still, failure despite also losing the medic. Still coming out on top with the worst spawn. It's really surprising here. Yeah, I mean, they've just pressured the Medic and the Sniper so much, so Unforgiven's been doing a bit of a job in the bat lines as well, constantly just trying to pressure them. So, it's playing out pretty well for them here, but they lose Joe, I'm not sure how they're going to go for their point spam here. Delta's going to try and walk forward and try and they're blasting people off the point and try and get this point pressure in, but they're trying to regroup here. A lot of heals having to go down to the combo and pocket as uh, Kalos is just going to walk forward and spam, and there we go, they eventually get the cap out. A 4 down 4, a deck of a nice 1v1 over TK there on the flank. That's the only pick they have right now, Spy on the combo as well. It won't do much there, unfortunately for them, but it still gets them scared and that just makes playing point all the easier. They have to try to test, but no one's alive to do it anymore. 
Yeah, Wizards are sniping away. Joe is coming with the spam as well. The mini store is still firing away, but they use Uber here. They don't have just about yet. Ladies on 99. Gonna be trying to use into Joe as well to try and get across the point. Trying to spam them out. Sentai might get out here, but we've got a bit of a jump in from the soldier. Dika trying to find it, but it's gonna be trying to jump into many players there. But I mean, they're three down and fail. If they come back in quickly here, Athenium, they might be able to find something. We've got to get those focus fires going. Yeah, it has to be quick right now. No real combo here. The most they have is the Pyro and Horrid taking down with the Scout. Picking up which Fong also on point wants to just end this early with some QDM. Corpse barely living. Arrow misses in Q. There we go. Hundred keeps him up in the end. But, I mean, is it going to be enough? There are a lot God. of people down here. It's just Redlicks trying to defend the point, but he's contesting everybody, including an opponent's knife. Because they're heavy at least. Is that enough? I don't know, I mean, Wizards are not going to 8k, he gets shots the sniper as TK throws him up into the air. This man is just like, has no fear, he's just on fire, feeling very comfortable with his team. And uh, there we go, he's already second scoring for that round, and surprisingly Grip actually top scoring for that round there as well. So, uh, really well played by uh, Fela so far. Yeah, really. The, the last Uber wasn't exactly what they wanted to do. They did want to just like have the opponents use like into them. Uh, wait a second, and instead of just kiting forward and holding the Uber, they want to use into you as much as possible. Try to not let you escape and get any picks they can out of that chase down end. Yeah, and uh, Kaz back into this mid here, He's taking a bit of damage. Early jumping from TK. Although Joe going down to an early pick there from uh, from Red Lake, so we'll play by him to get that pick. Might sort of delay that pushing across here. How comfortable Fae is going to be without Joe trying to push it across, but got some peeking in here. Cobbs is trying to drop down from the cliff. The headshots are ringing out from Wizard, though. No real pressure onto him. He tries to retreat onto the cliff behind his heavy, but uh, loads of pressure. But then Mind against the Medic! Yeah, that was quite a bit. They played so well off of just having the heal advantage. Got the cap done with that alone here. Uh, well, not heal advantage, but play advantage of the demo man down and all the swords that the sniper enabled. But eventually, the other sniper might be able to retaliate as well. And once these picks are starting, it everybody pushes the point here. They don't want anyone to escape, and they're doing a great job of that so far. Obviously, no medic to kill right now, safe and spawn for what it's worth. But with everyone else going on, that's a quick recap here for Failure. Losing Hondral 8, not a big deal as long as they can have the Uber secure on point, start wasting their own time. Only 15 seconds for Phenium while Failure already takes the lead on the timer here. Yeah, and um, was out on this spot as well. Uh, got uh, Pijaka watching his back as well. So I'm expecting some stacks in here. I mean, Lena sort of repositioned herself onto this cliff area. I'm expecting maybe some stacks in since they feel the advantage. But they're going to need to try and take some pressure like forwards here, maybe to try and get an edge cap going. But uh, they've still got the sniper to deal with. We've got Decker just trying to spam him out. But they use him very early. Sinta's in the pocket. She goes down very low. Goes down very quickly to that Uber. And there we go. All the thing that comes through. Yeah, exactly the kind of Uber Fela uh, wants to have. He just freely tried to go as aggressive as they can, and with basically no one surviving, there wasn't much of an issue in doing that. Ratlick's still around, trying to live, get TK somehow, but that's really all they can claim on Ethereum out of this one. Spawning on crits of this one, Sintyre, is an interesting decision. Obviously, he somewhat worked for Fela here, mostly off of a spy play in the midst of that, but we'll see. Maybe they can deliver Honcho trying to tally camp? Didn't get noticed either somehow, so he's just in-house behind them. <laughs> yes, no, it's not actually is. Not even picked up, but either way, they're getting some pressure in here. Nice pick onto Joe again, actually. So, uh, a lot of pressure on the point is going to be relieved from that demo pick. Got the flanks all going forward here. Scouts sort of looking strong and go forward as well. They end up get, um, like bleeding a bit there, but gets the health back. So, they're going to be regrouping here. Failure on Cliff for now as the point sort of tides over. And again, Joe goes down. Yeah, things are starting to look up a little bit for Helium here if they can keep this point alive for a little bit longer. They so far struggle to actually keep themselves alive during camp, still using Kayla Swords, but everyone else being around is nice and delayed kill on Layla, as well as John, that makes it somewhat harder to get something going immediately. They're still trying a bit with some pressure of a point. Sniper's still there, Heavy is still there. You can start pulling up some damage if you want to, but they're playing it safe until they have at least buffs to do so. Heavy also almost dead here. There's a snipe coming out. Pyro down. If they want to sag, that's a great opportunity for now. Oh, well, I think they just laser beams there for a bit, and then the demo comes in from uh, Joe goes down against the crit sticks. Layla almost dies for that crit stick, but she stays alive for now. Cobb's taking so much damage on the point. Sinto is going to be arrowing him up. Fong goes down to the mini as well. Relic's feeling a bit of the wizard uh, attitude there, getting onto that rock, just trying to snipe away. And uh, it's only really grip to defend this, so I think I should try and get grip off the point and try and delay this cap. Oh, and uh, time goes down. And oh, with God. the second time to just drop down from Cliff, get the medic. This would have been actually really nice for Phenium today. Uh, despite not killing Layla, I kept advantage out of this one in the long run if they just kept beaming there, but not the case anymore. So quick recap of this one is why Fela not wasting any time to get back on cap here. And it's really interesting to see how much they can stay on this one. Sintai switching to normal again means this is a decent advantage for Layla here if they can keep this one alive. So Athenium has to act fast. They're still down on time here. 
Yeah, and the thing you might really feel like they could have kept some momentum there. Maybe go for a bit of a forward all, or maybe just kept a bit of some forward presence on the point with a few people, but uh, kept Red Licks on the rock maybe. But here we go, got this failure just walking into this pocket area, it's being secured with uh, with the point control. But here we go, Conch gets popped. Got the soldiers, they're trying to sort of jump in. They counter it with an Uber though. Sintas going to try and run for a life, and there's kind of just chaos right now. You control the chaos more. On. People trying to go deep still, drone somehow at spawn, chased by a sniper and a devil man here, still not dying somehow. There we go. One second of flames will do it by Delt. Uh, like you said, very awkward there, but hey, they got so tired of this one, so we'll work in the end. Nice little <laughs> team killer there between TK and Wizard. One pops up, they will take them down. Hondro still on the telly. I don't know how he keeps getting into house and gets away with this. This time at least he gets spotted in time, but somehow every time I switch to his POV, he's just in front of the teleporter <laughs> in house. He wins the 1v1, these are like 6 health, but yeah, that was a huge shot from Wizard on the, on the backside of that sort of soldier jump in, but Vex is in the pocket area, gonna get stabbed by Unforgiven here, this kind of still falling apart here for Athenium, there's only two left, Dex is doing his best, and Sintas, I'm just trying to stay in, but Trick comes out inside the porter, it's like 6 seconds left in the time, and there you go, I think that was gonna be a pretty clinical second round for Failer, so at the moment, Athenium not really finding any answers for what Failer's coming out with in terms of their holds, in terms of the sniper pressure, because at the moment, Wizard is completely popping off. Yeah, it's like these awkward moments as well, where Sintai just gets like very unfortunately called out by the sniper, peaks for a second, and the bullets already through the head. Uh, they need to be very wary of that one. It's not going to get any easier from here if they don't, so let's see if they can deliver. It was a better round than last time, but that doesn't mean just much yet. Yeah, might, might be starting to warm up, maybe get the stuff together if they start focusing on the right people, but uh, here we go, the next mid is underway as uh, Kalis is the first casualty, so kind of opposite of what happened the last mid where Joe was going down quite early, so but that allows Joe to sort of get some space in here. Uh, Wizard sort of still on the cliff snipe in the way as well, Joe will be getting an arrow from Layla, and uh, Thenim's already backing out there, going to be respecting that uh, early demo pick. Yeah, well played off of just the early pick, just flex the damage advantage they had here really nicely. Trying to carry this all the way to the opponent's cliff as well, trying to just fall out for a little bit. They don't see that all too often in Highlander compared to 6v6, but it still happens every once in a while. And hey, as long as it wastes time, it's fine. John, just look at that. He's just like single-handedly keeping him stuck there for so long. Maybe a little bit too much, so really, really needs an arrow desperately to get out of there. Looks like he just about can ward away, but that already by itself got like 20 seconds or so for them. Yeah, that aggression's just about paid off. Most to live here. I mean, Rust is sort of just sort of biding his time in the bat lines, maybe calling out where they are. But they're coming already. A bit of a late use there, so it gives them a bit of time here. Since I maybe hoping not to get caught out. Fire's getting blown into the air as well. Mini sort of throwing them around everywhere as well. Wizards are going down actually importantly there, uh, so it might allow them some pressure over this point. Well, they're certainly taking their chances here, all over point. Really aggressive, getting a lot of cap time, and a lot of damage with that. And somehow nobody's ready for it. Failure just not respecting that attempt at all, and. Most of them will bite the dust for Layla, especially hurting here with Sintire surviving all of this solid 40% advantage. A minute off Failer's clock is decent, but very much you can make up for that here if they just play this one well. Heavy going down late as well. Let's see what they can do with the cap time here. Oh, they should be really well at protecting Sintire. I'm just hoping she doesn't go down. I've got a good ad here that they can use, but there's so many people just kind of feeding on the side of Athenium, like unnecessarily, like they already lose four. Since hasn't even got Uber yet, and there we go, the pressure stops coming in, the sniper's just on rock. Not really many people to deny this sniper at all here now. I mean, Deku goes for a nice bomb there, actually managed to get later, so really well played by him, and Delta just uh, not fearing at all, so never mind. Boss out as well on the point, I guess he wanted to go forward anyway, and are lucky to actually use two the spider, but hey, with the pick already happens, not the worst thing ever. A little bit of late cleanup there as well, heavy still on cliff, making it a little bit more annoying. Kayla's actually getting claimed by that in the end, but... They're keeping themselves in this. Nice snipe down to Joan too. TK going down as well. Picks up after picks here for Phenium. Time's even now. It's still roughly even as well. So this all is just about working out, even if it's getting very sketchy about it. Oh, they're trying to take this heavy 1v1. I don't know what... I don't really see the, like, value in that, to be honest. They're trying to get forward on the point here, but they're just kind of feeding into the combo, it seems, as Lailas is eventually going to get Uber. And there we go. Sinto goes down to Wizard. This is the problem, you see. Get people on the point. He gives you the sniper the pressure just to pick them off on the point. As uh, Joe goes down very weak there, almost dying, but I think this point cap will eventually go up. Bomb from Kalis. Ooh, get shit down from the sniper and the scout, so we'll play there. All right, quick recap there. Strassi trying to just get him to Layla. Not with... Good opportunity though, just the cloaks in front of him, tries to pistol that down, kill not gonna happen though, cleaned up by Angie and Pyro. Very quickly, Cap still in Failer's possession here. 
see for much longer. It's just Schmidt trying to test this. Oh, you're not gonna work out too well for this lone engineer. The rest of the team rolling up the cliff now, and it is this big of an advantage right now for Leila that you can have different approaches here, be it sacks, be it trying to just get away with point play and force them out that way. Let's see which one Ophenium chooses. <laughs> Gale is getting himself a month for giving there. I mean, in spite for a demo pick, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. So uh, I'll definitely delay their push in here without their demo. As uh, with that, still just having the sight line over the point. Dell's trying to flame him out a bit with the detonator. And uh, Redlix actually finds us just about the TK. So a couple of the flank players dead right now for failure as they try and walk their way back in here. But I mean, this time is still ringing down. They still got this 100%. They can't just wait forever. But uh, that Joe pick might be something. We'll see, we'll see. Not also class action here that also will TK down as well. So that's an opportunity. It probably is now as long as he is careful about the sideline here. We will get forced pretty quickly with this entire has well now. They can retaliate really late actually with their own here. So this should be pretty nice to chase with if they have the opportunity. A few picks here and there, forcing everyone else back. And there we go, Decker finding everything on the way out from Cliff. Really good bomb by the German soldier and it will get that point back in their possession. It's time against them, it's rounds against them, but Things are looking up in this one at least. Big damage down Cliff, John of the Air 5 as well. Looks like they're not gonna go out without a fight here on Trailer. Oh, like the Athenium, I respect the aggression, but it was kind of just mistimed. Like the spawn was already still there on the cliff. Like I don't think their heals were that great either, because they, they weren't like fully buffed going in there. They're trying to just go into the choke that Joe was trying to block off with his sticks, and there we go, got Scal just holding W into Kalos as he goes down. No demons is nice pushing. TK's are just trying to get that high ground in. Fong's in the face of Cobb's trying to fight him off and uh Trust in the battle line, almost finding something there. Uh, Fong goes down though, but there's so many people dead with Thunion. Yeah, Paylor is just like very, very aggressive here once they don't have the point. They're very free to just take the aggression forward, knowing that even if they trade, they will come up on top. And that's exactly what you see. They're just throwing themselves deep, not really too concerned about Captain, but yet don't quite need to be. They don't need fully well. This Uber has to go first. They need to just have Layla get out of life, and that seems to be going just fine. John body blocks the door for the Pyro. That's maybe all I need later. We gets it to spawn. I think she would have lived just fine anyway, but better take the reset than be sorry about it later. So that just about worked for them. And like I said, if they can go aggressive, they will take the opportunity. It works out really well here. Oh, but they're still forcing the point. They don't respect the Uber. Like, Joe's already in the face of Athenium here, as uh, Fong's also in the Uber as well, which is what you want. Demo Scout Uber could be pretty effective there. Scrafty trying to look for something in behind. He's managed to find it, got the bomb coming in from Decca, but again, doesn't really find anything. And uh, they've still got some time here, though. They've got 40 seconds to regroup. I'm hoping they don't just feed and uh, they can actually get another push in. Realistically, Uber's off the table. Sure, with like double overtime, it could happen for especially Layla, but it's not very likely. Maybe with the quick fix here, but that's a quick fix Uber by itself. So we'll see if it matters. For now, all that matters is Athenium having one good play through this defense. If Elder Fela know fully well, they have to play point. It's a power position you want to be in. Have to contest point and just have really easy cleanup from there. They can't afford any mistakes, so they don't have much time to spare themselves. Yeah, but Unforgiven with the opening picks gets the sniper and the demo to start with, and there we go, the sniper goes out onto the medic. I think this is just all falling apart for Athenium. People who have spawned are going to be way too late coming in here. Hold the failures on the point, they got an Uber going out, and there we go. I think that's going to be a clean 3-0 sweep for Fela Esports on uh, on this product map as the uh, first of potentially three maps, but I'll uh, we'll have to wait and see how they do on this uh, next payload. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. Uh, just a lot of it came down to failure, just not being able to stop good momentum. Athenium needs some of this. If they have something good going, they cannot afford to just play it safe. They need to just keep going with every advantage they have. Yeah, I agree. And uh, for anyone just joining us, this is the Season 22 uh, lower bracket qualifying match between uh, failure and Athenium. This is for getting into the next Premiership division for Highlander. As uh, these teams two fight it out. Um, at the moment, it is 1 0 to Failer, who just took the product map as we go into this uh, upward round. It's going to be uh, potentially two next two maps will be payload if it does go to decide a map, but uh, currently Athenium are going to be looking to try and take this map back. So uh, I'll see how it goes, but at the moment, I'm seeing relatively simple setup. I don't think I'm seeing any. So I like the trap that Drone has put up. It's like I can't believe I haven't mm. seen this before because it's like very straightforward actually, just like in a little bit of a corner. Uh, still, who knows? Like maybe they haven't seen a Diva on the Uh I guess we'll see if it catches anyone off guard. But yeah, otherwise, like you said, uh, fairly traditional. We see you know Contron defense, gun on point. That's like what like free viable gun spots anyway on first. So just pick your favorite, I suppose. Whatever plays well with your team. Yeah, and we've got this uh, classic sort of close fail hold that Joe likes to call, I think, as uh, first pick rings out as Delta trying to push the cart with that's on this uh, 
on that left side, managing to find that. But Sebastian not managing to find his way in just yet, as the Honda is going to be wrangling his guns, just preparing for the initial sack that are likely going to be coming in. But uh, the moment Karts has been pushed up, Relics is probably trying to find something on this left side. But uh, I think they're bringing their medic out already, which is interesting. Yeah, maybe they just want to commit straight away, and I mean, what other reason do you have to have to medic forward? Obviously, probably already a known quantity if you see people still being beamed up this far. Yeah, no one knows for sure. Can't quite get the sticks in onto Sintyre, but they have to act sooner or later, otherwise it will happen at some point. So, Uber just straight into them, but they're ready for the exchange on Fader. Yeah, straight away, they're just going to be Ubering out. He's not going to be taking any chances as Layla with the team, so uh, Pritaki is going to be trying to just spam them out on this high ground, but uh, lots of spam coming in from TK and the car as well. No real focus onto Wizard either. Uh, well, I'll say that, Sprasti goes for a bit of a pick there, but Kalos goes for a bit of a late bomb in. Maybe trying to find the Pyro here. Group goes down for the troubles, and they do have better spawns on the offense, remember, but this Telly is uh, is actually down right now for them. They've got like barely any buildings, haven't they? Seen that? Yeah, a lot of which was courtesy of, I think, Kalos was going onto the high ground and just spamming shit down uh, pretty efficiently though, so we'll see how that goes for them, but at the moment, even with the better spawns, it's not really going all too well just yet. Yeah, and Pajak is still here, he's trying to get heals, Honda's trying to build up his gun, Sprash is trying to bit, wait for a bit of a sap, Carter's slowly rolling back, but uh, teams managed to commit for now. Don't know whether, like, how long this first one's going to last, because we now tell it, it's going to be quite often the spawns to come back in. And uh, although Redlix does go down to the heavy there, so it might delay their push in without their sniper. Let's see, they're still having a little bit of a foothold forward on Athenium with the pressure they had early. The fact that Pondra has to rebuild most of everything helps quite a bit with that. But people, despite taking all this damage forward there on the dispenser spot for Fader, they're just not too concerned about that just yet. People having trouble really committing into this forward hole. There's finally good enough damage to force the second Uber out. Sintyre not even close to having just yet though. Yeah, but I'm thinking Fela probably gonna have to back out now. Oh, nice stab from Sprasti onto Layla, so that I think they're definitely gonna give up this first point now that Sprasti's got that good pick in and Sintar on 90% as well. So massive out here from Athenium. Really hoping they group properly for this, and Joe's gonna be trapping them off as well. So just be careful of these traps, careful of the sniper before they use in. Um, also be wary of the tunnel area, but they seem to be going through tunnel for now. Might try and uh, go up one of the two exits. Yeah, this has to matter now. This is not the prettiest first time at all. 2.29. Uh, it's about half the time you have for the first point anyway, so this has to keep rolling forward quickly for now. Let's see if they can deliver for now. Two picks straight away. No pick to worry about. It's always pretty nice for the combo. They want to commit as late as possible. Popping through tunnel on the top side here, trying to catch anything at all, but don't really want to overextend, and they're not really getting anything forward either. Yeah, but Jack is still on a bit of a flank here. Isn't this Thomas? He's going to be peeking over the corner with the help of his scout. As, uh, I mean, Wizard went down there, so I'm kind of surprised that they were very weak. Since I let the players get quite low there before using, Delt tried to jump in, but he's on like 30 health when he jumps in. So I'm surprised they didn't just sort of play off the sniper out there, come back further on the, the hill. Like they'd already sort of kited it out from, uh, from failure. But there we go. Joe goes down as uh, that should open up quite a lot of space. They're already full down. All right, there we go. Finally, these picks are piling up, like you said. Uh, and. That needs to matter right now. Uh, don't have to do it yet, so they couldn't fall, fight this if they wanted to for that matter. They're just falling back. Probably the voice decision to make here. Sintai will catch up any moment, so basically, even over the time we get here, 313 to second is picking up the pace a little bit more here already, but it's going to be difficult to really keep this going now with this even Uber situation at hand. Yeah, and Joe using all his ammo to try and kill Sprashy there, but Sprashy managed to thread the needle and get out. As uh, yeah, even Uber situation, as you said, got the gun set up from Honjo. Uh, the Uber already comes in here, you have to be careful of grip sort of air blasting them off the cliff. Nice air blasting Delt there to sort of displace that Uber a bit. Just go flying through his troubles and uh, get sniped out by a wizard, but Carl is still moving importantly, but oh but Sintai gets called out. And that one stings now for Kingdom as well. He, like you said, Delt did a good job trying to air blast the power away from his own Uber to just make theirs better, but again, it just couldn't matter enough. Spy play failing as well for Sprass Eater. Caliph's trying to sack through with that as well. A little bit of distraction there by the Spy for the demo man. Still not enough though, and this is where it could get ugly now. It's hard enough to have a good exchange into this point. Like you mentioned, this point could be make or break a lot of the time, but now having to deal with it on this side as well is just so much bonus time for failure unless any of the pick classes goes massive for the side of Venium. Yeah, and this is where the combo comes through for, for failure. Like, Joe is comfortable setting up like these forged sticks. He's ready to sort of just blow people away. Nice spike setup from Grip to get uh, Sprashed before he comes in. Roll back a bit as well onto the bottom of the ramp. Spam's coming in from the Iron Bomber as well. So, And they've still got Projector to deal with in this elbow. So there's still the, like, all these obstacles they're going to try and get past. They've lost three already when they're trying to get in here. And Sintar gets caught out by TK on top. This is why you deal with the soldier on top. 
Yeah, really good positioning over DK. Just abused your one opening you have. It doesn't come easy, but if it does, you need to make the most of it, and that certainly will deliver for them. Another mad kill here, and like I mentioned already, this is just piling up so much time. And I mean, sure, they technically have that time, but it just doesn't make the end result any better for them. Ooh! Maybe an entry pick though, nice like the Hunter Joe from uh, from Red Legs. This is like having no fear, gonna be trying to walk his way in. Gets Wiz actually with the spam, so maybe a bit of an opening game. They're still flying into this Uber though, importantly, but Delta is here to deal with that if they try and come forwards. They're getting good card time though, so it's good focus from them. Uber comes out into the heavy though, and they're getting wrapped by the spy. Sintai goes down. No respect for the heavy though, might have forgotten about that, but a uh, good rotation there from Lazarus, just trying to make that Uber through the uh, through the elbow. Yeah, that's the time steps measure. They're just piling up to try to get that Uber to the equation. I mean, technically it did just that, but obviously if your medic doesn't live, it's worth so much less right now, still even at the end of this one. At least the cap rolled up quite a bit, but at this point, it's like asking very little to have accomplished that. So we'll see if it comes to play at all. It's not even up the final two slopes just yet, and that's just not where you want to be just yet. At least if it's up the last three slopes, you can just start pressuring, just capping out the point even without winning a fight really, but they don't even have that luxury just yet. Yeah, Fong gonna be pressuring into them as well, goes down for troubles, but... um. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to try and push it up these last two slopes. It's going to be a bit of a annoyance for them. But there is three down right now for failure, so they're all taking some space here. Athenium is to try and sort of secure some elbow space. But they're flying into splash damage. Not going to be very useful for them. And there we go. The stab comes out onto uh, Kalis while the combo was distracted. So all play play unforgiven. And uh, Hondra's going to get stabbed. Not really any follow up damage on it, though. I feel like there needs to be some focus in the right place here. But the Ubers get traded, and I'm thinking, well, they managed to get the cap by either way. <laughs> Oh, sorry for the distraction there, but I think Decker almost just got stuck in Tunnel. <laughs> if oh, you jumped like the end of Tunnel, I think you can get stuck. He barely got out. It would have been a tragic way to die. Uh, doesn't quite happen. Either way, this is much more important. The fight's still going on here. And yeah, they kept a nice fight going there the entire time while they were capping the points. So maybe I call it a little bit too early there on them not being able to get away with cap time. Because they certainly did just now. It took a really good fight though for like very long, which isn't easy to accomplish at all. So good stuff by Athenium there. Still, we're talking about 6.46 into third. If they cap this out in the next minute, it's still like, barely a decent time uh, in the grand scheme of things. So this has to be going quick right now. They don't have air to do it. Yeah, the entire failure is up top here with the, that slight add. So it might only be 5 or 10%, but... Oh god, finds that pick since I goes down. Yeah, loads of people going down there for Athenium, unfortunately, and the full setup is coming through for failure. So you have to be a full regroup, I think. Yeah, that one, once again, just sets them back so much here. And now we're like, assuming there's no big place coming in outside of like a team coordinated like Uber play or something like that, we'll just waste a solid minute about on the side of Athenium here. You cannot expect like 100% perfect build rate right now. So the people will try to still make plays, but uh, still it's not looking pretty for them right now. Losing Decker there as well, just slows them down in the making of plays as well. TK almost gets again like a completely away of that for free, just dropping down on them on the spiral staircase. Yeah, and they've still got Wizard to deal with at this top area as well. He's just kind of crouched in this window space trying to deny this main area as uh, some people are going to try and peek in now, but they've got the traps on the stairs as well. They've got the heavy just sort of watching it out, but um, Fong just go down to Kalis there, so losing that scout on the flank and maybe calling where they are, but so much spam coming into the stairway area. I feel like there needs to be some more coordinated sack in. Like, they're just, they're just kind of like waiting outside, maybe we we'll take a tray, but I don't know how this is going to go. Well, like you said, they will take the chance to see, regardless of the actual result in Mindress yet, to see if it can go anywhere, but for now they're playing it safe, it's falling back quite early. Getting a few picks late though, TK Grip, Unforgiven, all very nice to have here. Decker on top, so dealing with the heavy, here comes the backup for this one up the stairs, and Fader all alone up top now, they're just breaking through really nicely. Fader wasn't ready for the repush here. Oh my god, I, I mean, they've, they've pulled out somehow from nowhere, and, and there we go, Sarasti gets the stuff on the gun. The gun goes down, really more coordinated push in here from Thenium out of absolutely nowhere. Fong gonna be trying to get the, on the cart. Cobb's gonna be trying to deal with that as well, just trying to cap it out. Kayla's doing the right thing here, gonna be trapping out that top left area with the help of uh, with Deke on Soldier as well. No one ready to contest the cart, they might try and push this in. Tika's trying to his best to bomb it, but there we go. I think Athena's gonna finally get it in nine and a half minutes. Yeah, like this last minute here shows that when Athenium has something going, it looks really nice. They just struggle to actually get started right now. And that hurts quite a bit, especially if you think back to the second push, uh, which they didn't need like a starter play at all because they already had like a full Uber going in. But they couldn't really use it or at least didn't know how to in that position. They had the full Uber but didn't find any targets with the Uber and that set them back so much already, let alone the third point as well. So it's coming down to exactly what I thought it might be here. Phenium just 
struggling to keep up the momentum when they really need to, which is a shame because once they have it going here on last, perfect example, they just can keep this going, perfect spawn camp and just making sure that like there's always like two people on card with that, being sure that the backs are covered, which matters as well, the Spy got one of the two players on card, but the heavy lift, so they will win that round eventually here, 941. Yeah, and I'm thinking that like Athenium maybe have some more comfort like when there's no Ubers in play because I mean that entire play just came off of that like they kind of just went up the stairs. I think there was maybe a bit of overcommittal from uh, from the side of Failer there and a couple of players so that might have just opened it all up. And uh, even when they were low on the side of Athenium, they just kept holding that W key. But here we go, they're going to be on the side of this defense right now. So uh, Failer need to. Beat the time set by Athenium, we've got that 930 and then we're already Joe is going very deep. And that is, is what he likes to do. Uh, I did that one against Kitty as well, just trying to go all the way behind. For now, TK is the one just first try getting the bomb by himself and that's pretty much not what you want to see here at all. At the very least, Jordan didn't get the tally, so they still have that going for themselves. Well, uh, Failer didn't obviously on their defense for immediately when they're on start, the tally went down. Let's see if it matters though. Yeah, and Dom doing a really good job though, actually, of cleaning up Joe and the Spy, uh, Unforgiven. Because there's like, I think it's kind of interesting because Smith was just healing the telly from the other side. Like, Joe obviously doesn't have sticks, so he can't put all his sticks down and dent them. He just has to pipe it and hope that it doesn't get repaired. But either way, TK going to be trying to find another bomb in here, doesn't fully commit for it. Joe's already back in on normal sticks. The whole team is just running away on Athenium. Like, I don't know if they're going to try and recommit, but I mean, since I already used it earlier, I didn't even see that. Yeah, they just got forced really early. The one who Joe jumped, TK jumped as well, but he actually jumped the combo. And I guess everyone was just watching T uh, the first bomb go behind. They didn't have eyes on TK bombing for the second time. So there you go. That will wrap up the first point in just around a minute here. TK trying to chase all the way deep as well. Doesn't get too much for his trouble. So a couple of people down. No Uber ad whatsoever for failure. So while this first point went fast, this second point needs to be a difference maker now. Yeah, and Relic's finding that headshot to Joe. He's definitely going to delay their push in, so we'll play by him. He's going to be trying to take this high ground with the rest of his team. Joe's starting to walk back in here now. Kind of alone, though. Got a weird positioning from him because he didn't get a buff. So, uh, Kalis and uh, Del and Decker taking the best of that as TK takes a headshot himself. Um, Decker trying to jump back in now. It's 100% on the side of Sintir, so they're going to be sort of just chilling on this high ground area. I'm forgetting to go for the stab on Relic and finds it, so maybe try and play around Wizard on this hill and we'll see where they go. All right, let's see if Taylor trying to play this one over top. Athenium still trying to hold this one a little bit forward. They carry on a good advantage out of oh. out of first, but it won't matter for much longer here. Wizard with the sideline covers that one early, gets the second killer as well to wrap things up just a little bit faster. Here. They did lose oh, Layla though. Spressed in the back lanes while everyone was busy fighting. Sneaks through, gets the many while everyone's distracted. That one will help quite a bit, I suppose, but we're still peaking like, what, just over two minutes into second here for Taylor. Yeah, Strassi maybe trying to take the team on his shoulders a bit there for that point as he managed to find that med pick. So I'm definitely like the push in. It's only going to be a small ad for later now, as opposed to a very big one and the uh, potential Uber coming in. So it gives them a time to set up this third hold. The curse is chucking out some sticks right now as uh, the rest of Fela are going to be trying to regroup as uh, Strassi's still sort of roaming around in the, in the back lines, calming things out. But Cart is being slowly pushed in. Uh, Layla's sort of slowly building up the Uber as well, but there's sort of some early aggression in here from, from Joe as uh, they decided to rotate the trucks. Alright, here comes the sap on the gun. The stab of Kalis too. No one's acting off the first one, but probably the second one. Now there's just a lot of damage off the table. Wizard has a little bit more freedom. That's the cycling being abused straight away. It's only the scout for now, but piles up with the other two kills, and there's just so much more space for the taking off of Fela. They're trying to make some plays happen already. Yeah, and Griffin TK going down low, trying to secure that elbow space, but Joe is just free to spam this. Although I say that, he goes down as the, the gun's being wrangled. Just give me a pyro and a scout Uber in. Sinta doesn't have Uber just yet. Cobbs is kind of left in the no man's land, trying to fight everyone up at once. As uh, the rest of the team decides to go maybe to last here. I feel like they need to maybe try and recommit here, but Sinta went down again. Yeah, Griffin's just having a field day anywhere, but for the rest of this team is axing people down. Three or four in a row there, I think oh it was God. three, gets the Vedic, gets the Devil Band. Everything's falling to this man today. Is Extinguisher back in the meta? I guess uh, Grip is taking that in his own hands and saying yes, because uh, he's got like four or five in a row, I think, because uh, they've already taken some early aggression in here. They haven't even capped the point, but I'm forgiven trying to go for that heavy stab. Doesn't manage to find it, but... Uh, Ooh, Layla dies in the Layla. meantime, though. That is wrapping all the way around. That could be costly. Still five minutes is a tough task, but they're putting themselves up for success at least, getting everyone flushed out of the last area very quickly down Athenium. 
Oh yeah, I, I like that aggression from Athenium because they could have been a lot more passive, but they decided to just say, well, you know, well, we need the time, so we need to get up, up top here, like, we don't really have much of a choice, so they decided to go for it and it ends up working out. Sinter's still alive, they've got the Uber out again. Um, so, cards slowly being pushed, loads of players fail still on this main area, so they need to try and spam this out. Relic's a bit on fire up top here, needs some help from his medics to try and snipe them out through this main, and the gun is also up from Smith, so we'll see what this goes. Alright, let's see, cards getting rolled up quite dangerously already, let's see oh, if they can double down, not quite yet. Soldier behind the deck, I can't quite get the final down, Layla, she barely survives that. Kalis on the other side trying to hold up the combo some more, but they will have to use that eventually on Athenium. Not exactly pretty here with Layla living as well now. Four more minutes to make this advantage work, this is setting Kayla up really nicely. I think it's kind of unfortunate for Sinter, because I think she was afraid that anyone, someone else from the flank was going to come up and kill Kalis there, as he was just emptying his entire mag into the stairway, as he managed to kill pretty much everyone there, as uh, Joe just came in with that early aggression to find a lot of the picks. But TK goes for a bit of a jump in, it's not by the gun, Carl isn't rolling just yet, but uh, Layla will be soon getting this Uber in, and uh, Decker getting headshot by Wizard as he's finding some high ground space. Ooh, Redlick's going down as well. That allows Wizard to have a little bit more freedom here, tries to abuse it as much as they can. Not really doing so just yet against this sentry sideline as well. Will at least lift this one. Let's see if that one matters, because there's so many down still with this Uber up there already. Surely Failure's not going to waste any more time. The gun gets sapped. This should be the goal sign for them. Yeah, TK's in the face of uh, Kalis as well, goes down though, nice reflect from Delt to deal with that, but uh, this, this cow, the scout is on the cart, no one's really managed to just shoot it. Guns are being built again, Joe's still in this top area that needs to be dealt with, a couple players on the cart, Bajak is on very low health, trying to find some help from his medic, but uh, Fon comes in, trying to do his best to get on the cart, but then you got Dominant trying to deny the cart as well, so it's kind of just utter chaos on the cart as the flank comes in. Alright, that's most the players dealt with though, eventually but, uh, on a premium side here, Fela, or oh, that's having flushed out everybody here. Spy still on the car, but that's not going to be enough against three people. Last few spawners coming in, but not in Gosh. time. If there was anything that could have saved Athenium, it was the fact that as he was started, the drone jumped the top area with like nothing loaded, no pipes and like four stickies. That was the only thing that kept him in this because he couldn't do enough. He got the level one out of the way, but not much more there. So Uber the wasn't quite as good as it could have been, but it still was good enough. To uh, to clarify, this is the uh, well, map point, I guess, and potential match point. For Fela. So if Fela wins this, uh, they will be guaranteed their uh, their prim spot. So at the moment we've got Fela on the offense in the blue. We've got uh, Athenium in the red defending. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this goes and wait for these first initial snacks to come in. Yeah, it is still doing stopwatch game modes in a best of three fashion, where still uh, in UGC you can like decide a free will basically. Uh, yeah. It's a bit strange, but hey, this time at least you always know what you're signing up for in here. There we go, Joe already goes deep, goes to the same strat, dominant already, way more than prepared Ooh, he for it. Perhaps back around. Ooh, oh, oh, Sinter drops! Oh god, the power's going bomber, the, the roll is coming in, and the, the, the direct's coming in as well. It's like, kind of just all comes in near the telly. And there's so many people go down for that, and the, uh, for failure, but the, for that drop is definitely worth it. See, that's the real play here, you just go deep the first time around, and they just expect you to get it, you just jump back in. <laughs> And they yeah, really weren't ready for it. Sure, everyone else died as well, but I mean, you just have to try to get a little bit more out of this one. You will spawn fast anyway, so anyone else you get on top of that is just nice. Brassy shut down as well already. That's just a nice bonus here, and Fela starting to get in here quickly. We were being popped straight into the first one. Kind of surprised they did that with Uber. I thought they would just try and get in there without an Uber, but Joe's already going deep. No one's prepared for this. For some reason, no one's already shooting him or expecting him to jump in. Already pipes down Red Licks. I don't know where they're still positioned this far forward. Kalis is on very low health. Joe's sort of in this side area. Getting ran out by Dominant, trying to take that DM fight, but he gets out inside for now as uh, Cobbs is trying to fight him. Goes down for the trouble, so there we go. Might delay the push in, but uh, yeah, they managed to get this car off in uh, one ten for that first point. Yeah, really great time for them so far. Let's see if they can keep this going. It's not exactly advantage at all, it's like disadvantage for them, nothing huge just yet. Let's see if Athenium can put on a better second hold than last time here with the small advantage they do have. For now, it's heavy stone each, so nothing huge just yet. Failure not daring to contest the slope too much just yet, either. Just in the back, waiting for anyone else to arrive here to have better heals, have the Uber maybe up and running as well. To dare in the meantime, just get the card forward as much as possible. Fong with the 1v1 actually, having a grand old time in tunnel by himself there. Yeah, but Unforgiven gets the stab onto Red Lit. And with that, already starting to snipe out literally every single person on the server and the enemy team. As uh, Sentry's gonna be up, but he could have instantly pulled that back. Probably the right, the right call from Smith there. As uh, 
Valens is kind of cascading forward for the second point without a care in the world, even when the spawns are still in the shutter and uh, Delt has to uh, take the back spawn. Yeah, with all these kills as well, it's just going to be momentum all over the place for Fela here. They're not going to waste any time to get in here and already first kill by the sniper, rest of the team rolling up very, very aggressively already into the elbow area and while John does get dropped, that's unfortunate, as long as you have at least something else to flash forward, he probably should be fine. Not actually claiming much at all, actually. Pyro and Heavy not really reaching anyone at all. Good job by Athenium to live here. I don't know if that's enough. He came with a nice rocket there to shut down the bomb on his medic. That will help quite a bit here. But they still haven't claimed any space back on Athenium. Yeah, Unforgiven is already sort of decloaking this higher ground there, I guess. But Jack, uh, since I was kind of left alone here, a bit with the demos, uh... Tries to go for a pit, but doesn't find it. But I feel like they're giving up this third point way too easily. Like, the, the cars not even pushed that far forwards. There's only like a couple people here. It's just a sniper. I mean, they've lost a lot of people, though. Joe's just kind of in the back. <laughs> I didn't even see where he was. I mean, what was going he, on? He was on the, the gun spot on last and tried oh, to jump gosh. away. Already took too much damage and died to his own sticky. Uh, I guess that speeds up the process a little bit here. Still, I mean, this time at least, when they came back in early onto last, they actually claimed kills and didn't lose Leyla in the meantime. So they will have advantage all the way through this map, basically. Yeah, and this pure aggression coming out of Fela right now, like absolutely no mercy from them. As uh, since they're kind of be crossing across this main, doesn't get sniped for now, but gonna be trying to secure this top space. But you know, you're trying to be in this top space against ads, you know, in the past has not been a very, uh, very wise decision because you just get sort of uh, ran into by an entire team. But kind of a bit of a mess right now in this spiral staircase area. Three down already on the defense, not looking that great for Phenium. All right, let's see with these players down, like you said, looking grim here because Fela can just start taking space already, wasting a lot of time on the heavy there, but still able to at least take the space or at least start doing so. And with the picks they already have going into this, a lot more space to take. He's still the gun all the way in the back, and it's something they just don't reach, being too busy cleaning up the top area here. Kale is somehow still behind him too, doing a lot of damage, juggling on TK, and that last sticky will claim its victim eventually. In the meantime though, while all of that's going on, Fong with the cap time though, dangerously close to just winning it out right here, and even if this first push didn't work, any good second one will just do. Yeah, and Kalis has decided to go onto the low ground there, rather than the high ground, isn't with the medic at all, gets piped down. Gun's still up though, Schmidt doing his uh, darn best to try and keep them off the cart here, on the engineer class, as Delt's trying to fight on this top ground, the Honjo wins that fight with the help of the heavy though, as uh, Nuba comes in, kind of an interesting use here to try and get this high ground space back, they'll have to regroup with the team though. We'll grip on the cart, someone needs to stop in Redlix, will do with the Girardi gun. Interesting choice. I guess it's just a quick 150. Uh, if you're really desperate for the body shots, let's see if it works. For now, it kind of is. He gets quick shots out. Everyone else is doing the good job as well. Leila barely escaping cops. Joe not quite so lucky here, but for that matter, Leila uh, is really the only like valuable survivor here. As good as that might be, they still have this point to push. Yeah, but we've got Wizard in this top area. Oh, nice uh, nice stick there and a uh, nice uh, shot from Redlix, actually. Try and clean him up. So, stick start going onto the car. I really feel like Fela actually could have ended that like a lot earlier. I feel like they're kind of just like flopping around, getting some side picks going on. But here we go. The actual pure aggression comes in now, Joe, getting into that sentry TK bomb in that high ground as well. Got the sword of falling into the pit as uh, Bajaki gets <coughs> the heavy pick as well with the help of the Pyro. And there we go. That's going to be a 523 time. Very, very fast time coming out for Fela. Yeah, that's a great time, actually. Like you said, uh, going to be difficult for Athenium to contest this in any meaningful way here. They basically had a little under twice that for their last time here. And uh, if anything, it won't take longer than five minutes this time, for better or for worse. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of pressure on Athenium right now. Uh, Trying to come up with something against this time. Um, I don't know. It's There just seems to be... I'm, I'm hoping they kind of can make it re refocus here. Um, this is going to be it's gonna be a difficult time. Uh, won't lie, but you know, faster times have been made on this map. Uh, surprisingly, it's just that momentum, really, like you were saying before. It's just failure was just really capitalizing on the momentum that they got from second, going all the way into third. They weren't able to get a third hold out on the Athenium, and uh, it kind of just fell apart from there, really. And despite all their efforts to try and get that top area again, it just didn't really work out. So, uh, failure doing a good job there so far. I have to see how they do here. Yeah. I mean, we have to start at the very beginning with the improvements. First point was already not ever really pretty for Athenium on the first round either. Took, what, two and a half minutes? That's like half the time they have to spare. They can't spend that long on first. Meanwhile, Fela, we've seen just two times in a row very quickly to get away with this uh, for now. Athenium had an interesting strat, or at least one you don't see too much anyway. Just straight out the gate with the Uber, but they couldn't do much with this. They got in with the Uber and then just couldn't keep the space they're trying to open up. Yeah, well, here we go again. It's got this. Uh, they're actually trying to opt for the uh, 
Well, they're opting for this four defense once again, Failer, it seems. So, got Honda sort of wrangling his gun with the dispenser four far forward as the cart is moving in. And they've already got their medic out once again, so they're trying to opt for the same strategy here. Moment Sintar doesn't uh, drop the Uber as they try and walk in. They're already going to use into the medic to try and get Sintar here. Oh, and she drops to the pipe! She doesn't look behind! Oh, nice shot from Joe there. Once again, just so bad for Ophidium to fall is to go down exactly the way it is right now. Don't even get a lot of picks to work of Eva in the midst of all this chaos here. Yeah, you gotta have to keep to come back from this one now. Cause, like, if you start off with something like this already, it's gonna be tough to recover in any meaningful way. For now, it's just pick after pick for Fela right now. People trying to flood forward, overwhelm them, but Fela having things well under control in the hold on the staircase here. Yeah, I guess the good thing is that they're flying into dry at the moment, like they're just basically even Ubers, so they've got that going, but either way, it's just like flying into a brick wall here on this uh, on the stair side with this gun and this uh, dispenser they've still got to deal with uh, from Honjo is uh, trying to find something on this right side of the flank with the, the engineer and the soldier, but once again not really finding it. Delt just taking so much damage as well as Kalis since I'm talking for life once again. So uh, failure just very comfortable at the moment. Yeah, they're just gonna set up campy. It seems they really favor this like more forward hold more than anyone else. I think has as far as I have seen, and it's paying off dividends for them right now. Phenium, despite liking to just like bust out obviously aggressively in Neva of the two rounds we've seen so far, able to actually get really close to them with the Ubers just now. Obviously this time being a lot worse than last time about it, but still, they just are forward on the staircase and just not getting punished for it at all. So they they know what they're doing on the forward hold. Yeah, and Wizard's still on this playground area, just trying to uh, snipe away as well. The Uber gets traded out. Not going to find anything really in particular, though. Gunner's still on a lot of health. The Jack is just getting tanked on the stairs from Layla. Group's managing to clean up as well. They do manage to get Joe, though, so they got that going for them, but still, they've got this telly that's up, so you can just quickly take that to get back in, and Sintar goes down to Unforgiven. Yeah, in the meantime, Layla is still sitting pretty with the rest of the team. Fong and Drone, the only casualties here, and if you have the time to get them back, that's not a big deal at all, and they certainly will have if all the kills have gotten themselves. Wizard eventually finds Decker just left by himself on the other side of the hold here on first. So things still looking up for Fela right now, already half the time about off the server just now. And uh, three going down, four going down for Thenium as they try and push into this hold. Like, they don't, don't really have any answers for it. I, I really feel like they probably would have been better off doing maybe some other sacks since the media is holding close. Like. That's probably how they're the best way to get around doing this. Or maybe just sat for the sniper and then just go off the sniper because Wizard has like not really had much protection. Like there's been no pyro near him, no heavy near him. Like that's kind of how you want to try and deal with that sniper. But there hasn't been any response from that from Athenium. And there we go, another Uber comes out. Sintar in a completely worse position than before, uh, getting caught out on that cliffside. Yeah, it's just not picking any up uh, up and, uh, at all anymore for Athenium here. Only about two minutes left and with nothing really to show for themselves here. It is just about over in, maybe not quite theoretically speaking, but in the spirits, I think they realize what's happening here. Yeah, and, you know, Fred just really showing the dominance here, again, on this payload, not only on Koff, as uh, still very comfortable, just sitting in this uh, floor. There we go, got a bit of a, maybe a bit of a jump in here, but finding some damage, Joe goes down a bit weak here, but again, still got this gun to deal with, with that. Imagine to shoot Scratch, he's actually on a 12 kill streak right now, he's just farming away pretty much. Uh, his headshots just ring off left, right and center, Kalis goes down as well. Del goes down again. So, yeah. <laughs> this has just been Wizard's round to take, really. I mean, at uh, this point, what are you supposed to do even on the side of a team that is just down against this little time right now, Eva? It's just an undoable task at this point, so... I mean, congratulations, I suppose, to Fela a little bit early here for the fact that they will win out the second go at the qualifier and eventually make their way to the measure. Indeed, there's uh, some Ubers come out, but yeah, like I said, this is kind of just all playing for the logs. I mean, Redux has actually managed to find uh, Wiz out there, so whether they wanted to try and buff out Bredlix a bit earlier there, maybe try and find a bit of an SVS going, uh, maybe could have worked out as well, but yeah, Wiz out definitely being the uh, the MVP this game, I think, for uh, failures. Uh, yeah, just losing their med quite a lot there, and the combo gets caught out so many times as well. So it's kind of just unfortunate to see uh, Fair just uh, really poor player. All right, well, a few more seconds left to go here, but we all know what's going to happen. Let's just see if anything interesting happens to go down in the last few seconds here. But 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's just like one last ditch attempt to at least get some kills here for both sides for that matter. Just pad out the log some more and then call it a day here and both teams will have to go home into each division and they have been now officially sorted to. Well there we have it. We've got um Failer will be confirmed to be moving up to the uh, Premiership Division for Season 22 Highlander uh, after beating out Athenium. Um, and Athenium, unfortunately, being relegated into uh, Division 1. We won't be seeing that bad war. And uh, there we go, we're winning it out, securing their Premiership spot. So thank you, uh, everyone, for watching. Um, it's been We Have Done Production with uh, Dumtum on the Cocos and Adventure, but make sure to check out our. Uh, our merch that we have new merch for the Critzcast store it seems there's uh, also a new logo that some of you may have noticed and as well and also don't forget to uh, keep your eyes peeled for the uh, lockdown throwdown as well yeah that's happening on the 12th and 13th I think there's like uh, about 60 slots still open so you know most of you can still get in with your team of six people for your 6v6 team if you take your chance quickly limited time offer uh to get in on that one should be an interesting one for sure as you can see a good amount of prize builder as well as well as a b tournament if you drop out of the group stages early and if you're just looking for more highland as well you don't have to wait much longer because if you were looking forward to badwater that's the first map of the season starting next week aka tomorrow as uh, soon as possibly who knows when the match is actually happening for that just stay tuned here on Kurtzcast and on team fortress tv to know when things are happening well there you have it so uh thank you for casting with me done some been a good cast as always and uh yeah my name has been buck so we will see you again next time goodbye hi old beaver away